company from Auckland looked at 150 mums, and they were actually um, looking, uh, they thought that the link between obesity and stillbirth was actually in sleep disordered breathing. They thought it was mums who were snoring, they were running out of oxygen in the middle of the night. What they found is that mums who did not go to sleep on their left hand side were twice as likely to have a stillbirth as mums who didn't go to sleep on their left hand side. But what you can see here, this is the cases on in this column, this is the controls here, and what you can see is that actually if you went to sleep flat on your back in this study, mums who had stillbirth were three times more likely to report um, that they went to sleep on their back. So then another study came out in 2015, um, and this had 103 cases and 192 controls, and this was in Sydney, and so it was imaginatively called the Sydney Stillbirth Study, and they also found that going to sleep flat on your back might be an additional risk factor for late stillbirth. The New Zealand team were very interested in this, and so they did the whole thing again. Um, and this time they did it with 164 cases and 564 controls. And they found in this study that going to sleep flat on your back was a um, 3.7 fold increased um, risk of late stillbirth. And they adjusted for some of these other common risk factors. So if babies were small, we were a bit skeptical about um, the Auckland stillbirth study. And we tried to decide whether we we're going to confirm or refute previous findings. We recruited 291 mums who had a stillbirth and 582 mums um, who were actually in pregnancy. And what we found is the mums who had a stillbirth were 2.3 times more likely to go to sleep on their back than mums that had a live birth. So these are four different studies in four different places in the world and these numbers are similar. So how does this fit? Well, so I said that you know, a 2.2 fold increased risk doesn't sound that exciting. You think, well, yeah, it's only a tiny increased risk. Smoking puts it up by 1.9. So we're talking about an effect that is more powerful than cigarette smoke. We think from our data that about 4% of stillbirths, if nobody went to sleep on the back, we would get stillbirth down by 4%. So remember, we're only going down by 1.4% a year. So that's a significant jump. It's been demonstrated consistently in four different studies with different ethnic groups, different settings. I know friends who do smoke and, and as soon as they found out they were pregnant they were like, let's stop smoking. They don't automatically think, right, let's stop sleeping on my back. You know, and I think it's one of those things you're told in pregnancy to not sleep on your back. You're not necessarily told why. When you're flat on your back, your baby's oxygen saturation is at its lowest. So actually there is a logical reason why some of this effect might be there. I mean, we all know that smoking's bad for you in pregnancy. I think that's just a, a pretty yeah. commonly understood fact. But I didn't know that sleeping on your back was such a big risk factor. To have a clear, consistent, evidence-based message is fantastic. I was really shocked by the research today. I never considered that my sleep position could have an impact on my baby. And that it's such a simple thing to lie on your side. When I was pregnant with my son, um, who actually did pass away, I sort of loosely knew that that's what I should do, but you know, there was never any stats or, uh, or reasoning, and actually it was something that was very incidental, and only if you read certain books you would have found that out. It wasn't something the doctor ever said to me or the midwife ever said. Not to worry, if you wake up on your back, don't worry. You can't change what you do in your sleep. It's just a simple, tiny little thing. Just sleep on your side, uh, and that can make a huge difference. And don't panic. If you wake up in the middle of the night, I always did it, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you find yourself on your back, it's fine. Roll over, carry on sleeping. I had no idea that sleeping position had anything to do with your pregnancy at all. So, um, uh, yeah, a real shock. Something so simple as just sleeping on your side um, can really reduce the risk of stillbirth and help save more babies' lives. We really love the work that Tommies do and we really want to support them, especially in, in getting this message out there because, you know, it could save babies' lives and obviously that's hugely important.